Hey y'all, I'm Sarah and I'm part of the burrito trio. I'm Tessa and I'm also a burrito. And I'm the last one, Lily. Hi, I'm Tessa with your weekly news. Last week was Red Ribbon Week. On Monday, volleyball was away in Lano and lost their last game. On Tuesday, the 7th grade had a field trip to the state capitol. Wednesday through Friday, we have basketball tryouts for the girls. And Wednesday, we had a dance. And we have a student-led Bible study on Wednesday during first and second lunch. This Wednesday is Halloween, and if you want to wear your costume to school, it will be a total of $5. This Thursday, football has a game home against Burnett, and it's also pitcher retake day. Hola, it's Lily here, and I have for you some of the rarest features people have. To begin with, only a portion of the population can bend their thumb completely down to their wrist. You can test this by bending your wrist forward and pushing your thumb the rest of the way down to your wrist. If you're like me, you can bend your thumb all the way down to your wrist. While Sarah can bend one of her thumbs down to her wrist, Tessa cannot. The next one is a feature that Tessa has. It's called a hitchhiker's thumb. This is where a person can bend their thumb at the middle knuckle forwards and then backwards. The next two features I have. The first one I'm going to name is called photic sneeze reflex. Photic sneeze reflex is when you sneeze to the side of light. With this, you can sneeze up to 10 times. This feature runs in my family. Most of my family members, including me, sneeze to chocolate, and I also sneeze to light. The other one that Lily has is Darwin's tubercle. This is a congenital ear condition. It's found at the upper part of the ear so that it makes a point, kind of like an elf. This upper part is called the helix. The next weird thing that people have are double joints. They call it double joints, but it's actually just flexibility in your fingers or wherever you can bend it easily. I don't know about you, but in all my fingers, I can bend at the first knuckle, and Sarah's pointers can do that also. The next rare feature is that less than 1% of the world's population has either truly black eyes, not just like dark brown, and also purple. And that's not including red that comes with albinism. For the last rare feature, you may have learned in STEM or science, but this is about fingerprints. Only less than 5% of the population of the world has arch-like fingerprints. These fingerprints sort of look like waves, and they're not connected. Join us next time for another bite of the Burrito Trio. The end by enjoy these bloopers. Um, less than five. Ooh. No. Whoopsies, I'm recording. Whoopsies. Join us next time for another bite of the burrito trio. So who picks out better crepes? Yeah. Join oh, us. Oh. And I'm like, Dad, pull some more. Dad, tips me over. So really? The next weird thing that people. Oh, I'm. Hola, bulldogs. For this episode, dang it. <laughs>